Hi, this is Edison Television, which is celebrating 25 years of providing a service to the Edison community. I'm Joe Vierno, and for five of those 25 years, I was the host and producer of Edison on Stage. In fact, during those five years, we did 93 different episodes with our station manager, Mike D'Amato, and cameraman, Ed Colonia. This particular segment is part of the celebration of that 25 years of Edison Television, and we are here at Middlesex County College, and we're going to be interviewing Michael Tabenslag, who runs a production every summer, a theater camp, and we'll be speaking with Michael in a moment. Hi, and welcome to Edison On Stage. I'm your host, Joe Vierno. The purpose of this show is to keep you informed of the theater events taking place in and around our community. What are those? Edison on stage, we had the opportunity over those 93 episodes to cover most of the theater events, professional, community theater, and high school productions throughout Edison and beyond. Our first episode of Edison on stage, we went to Edison High School. They were preparing Barnum for their fall production. And then we went over to Plays in the Park and we interviewed Gary Cohn, who's the producing director there, for the first of many different episodes that we did at Plays in the Park. Um, we were at J.P. Stevens High School a number of times, Bishop R. High School. We had been to Metuchen High School. We were at the Edison Valley Playhouse in the early days of their revamping. Uh, we came here to Middlesex County College for a number of theater events, both on the main stage and also the studio stage. Went to Wardlaw High School and Forum Theater in Metuchen. So during that period of time, we were covering a lot of what was going on in Edison. Um, a couple of things came to mind. I remember we had a couple of senior shows that we did for the senior high school kids. Um, in one of, the, one of the ceremonies, we had June Choi, who was our mayor at the time, come and congratulate the kids who were graduating. We went beyond Edison for a while and came to the professional theaters in New Brunswick, where we had the George Street Playhouse. I remember so well having an interview with Jack Klugman and Paul Dooley, who were appearing as the Sunshine Boys at George Street Playhouse. And that was more fun than you can possibly imagine. All I had to say to those guys was hello, and they just took it from there. Uh, then we would go next door to Crossroads Theater Company, and we spent some time with them. Uh, Ricardo Kahn, the artistic director, and Marshall Jones, who was one of the co-founders. We went to Rutgers, the Mason Gross School of the Arts, and uh, met with the uh, people who were making theater in both the Bachelor of Fine Arts and also the Master of Fine Arts productions. And then we sort of spread out a little bit. We became NJ on stage. And we were at the Circle Players in Piscataway, Playhouse 22 in East Brunswick, the Villagers in Somerset. We went up to Chatham. We were uh, up in Summit, Red Bank, and Marlboro. So it was really quite a wonderful time presenting these theater groups and all of the programs that, that they were presenting during those five years. Like I said, what we're gonna do now is finally fill in one of the holes. We never came here to theater camp because it wasn't a professional theater, it wasn't a high school, and it wasn't community theater, but now we're gonna make up for that by meeting with the people who make it happen here at the summer camp in Tabuslag Productions. So we'll meet with Michael and a couple of his camp counselors, and uh, I hope you enjoy that, and it's been a pleasure to present these programs to you all. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. We're now presenting to you the Hickman Parade for the USA Theater Camp Variety Show. Take it away. This is Michael Tabenslag, who is the camp director here for the summer camp uh, for Tabenslag Productions. And um, Michael, we're really interested in how this whole thing comes together. During the half hour or so when I was preparing to do this interview with you, I saw you leading a group of young actors through the paces of one of the productions. And this is just one of seven different productions that you do here during the summer at your camp. So let's talk a little bit about if uh, some young actor wants to get involved uh, with your productions. How old are these people? And what can they uh, expect to participate in? The camp starts from children entering first grade all the way up to 10th grade. We do a different show every single week. We start on Monday, pick the parts, teach the songs, and then I basically, okay, let's start going. 
and then Tuesday we finish the show, Wednesday run it again, Thursday we run it twice, and then Friday we have two performances, one at 9.30 and again at 11, and we have neighboring camps come in, we have people from Staten Island camps, all the way from uh, Ocean County come to see our shows, and along with other parents from the neighboring areas, and the parents of the children, and we usually sell out to about 900 people. And you know, it's just remarkable because you do seven of these in the course of eight weeks. Yes. The last two weeks, it's your Broadway spectacular. Yes. But the first six weeks, what are the names of some of the shows that you do in those first six weeks? This year we have, <clears throat> excuse me, The Brave Little Tailors, The Variety Show, which is actually one of the most important shows that we do for the kids. I'll come back to that. Then we have Jack and the Beanstalk. But in our camp, it's Jack and Jill and the Beanstalk to give more kids parts. Then we have Hercules. Pocahontas, and Alibaba, and the 40 Thieves. Yeah, and then you have your Broadway Spectacular. Now, when I watch you in rehearsal, and you seem to be speaking the whole three hours, giving directions to the kids. That's my voice. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's just remarkable. Uh, you're giving them lines, and somehow they retain all of these, all this dialogue, right? I also do this in, in schools. And I find if we work with scripts, it's too much pressure on the children to do it in a week. And the whole purpose of our camp and my program in schools is to build self-esteem. That's what it's about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they work with scripts, they'll lose it. So my whole process is, you know, I'm going to tell you a line. It's your job to remember it. And if you forget it, make them a new one. It doesn't matter. The show goes on, and it's less pressure. And it also teaches the kids to think on their feet and, you know, take pride in themselves. Hey, I'm a hero. I saved the scene. Yeah, yeah. How many kids are involved in this, Michael? It, look, it fills up the entire stage here at Middlesex County College. What you saw was only about 120 kids. We also have about 45 children or teenagers in our teen scenes program, and they take three weeks to rehearse their show. And this is all during the summer? This is all happening concurrently? Yes. We rehearse on the main stage, and our teen scenes program rehearses in the studio theater, and they present their show on, I guess, the last Thursday of the session. Yeah, the, I'll have you taped that one, too. The studio uh, theater is adjacent to the main stage, so, so this is all going on around the same time. Yes, it's the theater, theater camp. And when I watch this, I see that they're all in costume. There's lighting going on. There's musical accompaniment. How many, how many people does it take to do all the offstage work? Well, I've, I guess a staff of 25 people. I've, uh, Joel Chesler has been with me for, I guess, 18, 19 years. I run the morning with the theater aspects, and the afternoon is all fun and games, playing games, charades, whatever we, uh, we do. And he runs the afternoon. He's fantastic. Without Joel, to be honest, I couldn't do what I do. We'll have to meet this Joel. Yeah, good. Um, let me ask you this. You've got kids, as you said, from first grade up to about 16 years old. Yes. At what point can you look at one of the kids and say, this kid's got it? I can see it on the first day when they audition. I've had kids who've gone on to Broadway. Um, it's the magic in their eyes. Ah, okay. Many of the children, it's the very first time getting up on stage. That's okay. And my camp is we put on plays, but we're really here to build self-esteem. And that's what I try to tell the kids, you know, go for it, go for it. How many kids are shy? You know, how many kids want to improve themselves? You're in a school age. How many kids want to get over their shyness? Me, me, me. And a big thing is, who wants to be a success? Me, 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 me. When I first started camp, I was all about putting on the shows. And then I said to myself, you know, I'm, 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 I'm right now I'm 54. I guess about 10 years ago I said I'm, I'm 44. You know, this is what I'm doing with my life. I can either just put on shows for a living or really do something to help kids. And I'm pretty good at putting on shows with kids. So I said, okay, and it's not about putting the shows on anymore. It's about making the kids feel good and making them improve themselves, building their self-esteem. And the show's always fun. Yeah, well, it seems like they're having a ball. And, yeah, they are. and it's the same group of kids, your 120 kids, who will be in all seven of your productions during the summer? Actually, this is the first session. Session two is always our biggest session. That'll probably have close to 200 kids in camp. Oh, so it isn't the same group of kids who start, well, who finish the program? We have about 80 or 90 kids who are here for the full summer. All eight weeks. Then some kids say, okay, I'll sign up for session one. Then we go to the, on vacation, come back for session three. Some kids start session two and go on to three. You know, they can do it however they want. Well, I think it's remarkable. I, I, mean, I was exhausted just watching you, Michael. I mean, you must really be in shape. Anyway, uh, you do seven shows uh, during the course of your summer. Is it the same seven shows every summer, or do you have a repertoire? We have a repertoire of over 40 children's shows that we do. 
Every summer we have, we ro rotate our shows about every five or six years. I haven't done uh, Alibaba in about 25 years. And I said, you know what, I'm going to rewrite that show. So I'm, I'm thinking it in my head as we do the, you know, as I do to run the rehearsals. Yeah. So whatever comes out of my head is what they say. I already wrote the lyrics, the music, and I'm trying to make it a very, very silly show, uh, very campy. So this is original work. When does, All original works. When does Alibaba go on? Alibaba goes on week seven. Okay, so you have some time. I'm not going to tell you the date, but I know it's week seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the week seven and eight are made up by the, the Broadway spectacular. Uh, oh, no, I, correct. It's week five. Come week on, five. get it right. Week, you five, week five. Week seven and eight of the Broadway spectacular. Yeah, yes. get it right, because I'm going to leave soon, and you're going to be on your own. When I started this camp, I guess, uh, 27 years ago, I had a full head of hair, and it was dark hair. <laughs> See, <that laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm old. Getting old. This is Michael Tabenschlag. Slag. Say it again. Well, so no, Michael Taubin slide. There you go. And I believe your son is involved in this. Yes, he is. And it was your father, Elliot, who started this whole He's program. He's the one who created the process. Yeah. And I really didn't want to do this. Uh, on my father's, I guess, 31st year, whatever it was, he had a heart attack right before they were back. My father's still alive. But he had a heart attack right before the summer started. So they said to me, can you run the program? And I was like, eh, I want to be an actor in New York, but okay, I'll carry on dad's legacy for the one year. Yes. I had a ball. I had a ball. And then that's the year that we won the national award for best program for kids in the country. Is that right? Yeah, we won the best program for kids in the country. And then the college said, hey, can you do it here? And I've been doing it ever since. And I love it. This is my favorite time of the year. Well, I can tell you have this energy that, that you, uh, like that you could actually kids. transmit to the kids. And they were so well disciplined. How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. What does this mean, guys? And then they clack out. Okay, guys. I think a big uh, part of our success for here is the kids support each other. Yeah, and they right. want each other to succeed. So if, even though I didn't Great get the lead, train. even though I didn't get the lead, you know, you got the lead, I'm still going to support you. So they all support each other, and it becomes like a family. And the kids want to succeed, because if you're fooling around, you're not going to know what to do on Friday. So I think they have to behave. A little bit of fear. Yeah, I guess at the stage, a little bit of stage fright, but it makes you be your best. What great training this is for kids. You know, to get it's great training for adults, too. Great training for adults. I've worked with people uh, where companies have brought me in. Can you know, you work, train our people for the week. I have also worked with brain injured adults. Yeah. That's actually one of my favorite groups because I just love it. Yeah. Uh, but I like working with kids. My brother, who grew up doing this with us in New York, yeah. wouldn't be able to do this. So you're busy all year round. It I'm isn't just this. all year round doing this, yes. I well, love it. Well, we can tell. Thank you so much, Michael, for being part tell? of this. Yeah. And thank you, Edison Television, for coming down and taping us and supporting us. I really do appreciate it. And so do all the kids. That's Michael D'Amato behind that camera. He's the uh, station manager. <laughs> okay, thank you, Michael. Yeah. Okay. I can eat? <laughs> yes, go eat. <laughs> This is Raven Dunbar, my pal. <laughs> Raven is the choreographer and lighting director for the Taubenslag Productions. Did I get that right? Yes. Did I pronounce Taubenslag right? It's Taubenslag, but okay. I think. I keep getting it wrong. We all say it differently. <laughs> but uh, Raven is famous because she has choreographed or appeared in every musical in the state in the last eight or nine years, right? In New Jersey, correct. <laughs> yes, that's right. See, now watch this. All you have to do with Raven is go, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, those of you who don't know, that's the opening of a chorus line, but you've never been in that show. No. Now, never. what do you do around here, Raven? So, in this theater? Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm a normal counselor in the morning. I'm the ninth grade counselor, um, but I also design and run their lights for their shows every Friday. So they do, the kids learn a show at the beginning of the week, and then they do a show every Friday for the eight weeks, um, except for the last two weeks because we do a Broadway spectacular, which takes a lot longer to rehearse. Yeah. Um, and then but I your also, involvement. Oh, okay. you I also, also do the choreography for most of Michael's shows. Well, he's doing seven, seven shows during this summer session, and will you choreograph each one of them? 
So each of the shows are not choreographed, right? It's not like a normal musical where you have multiple shows that are choreographed. It's usually like one number. Sometimes we'll pull aside dancers or non-dancers even. They'll have clumps of groups together and everyone kind of has to learn together and, you know, pick up what they can, whether they have strengths or weaknesses. Um, Isn't it amazing though? I mean, these... This is seven shows in eight weeks, yeah. and the last show is, is the spectacular. Right, so, which takes two weeks to rehearse. Right, and the kids get it. They get it. I mean, I was very impressed. Just this, uh, on Monday, I taught a group of kids, about maybe 35 kids or so, a thriller dance that was, you know, maybe a minute and a half long, and they picked up the choreography, learned it in 35 minutes, and they memorized, they memorized most of it by Tuesday. It was, like, amazing. It is amazing. It is. What is it? They is retain it, a lot. Is it because they're real young? Because I can't do any of that anymore. <laughs> I mean, and they're eager. They all want to be here. Theater camp is yeah, fun, yeah, right? It's where right. they meet a lot of their friends, and it's a good place for kids to learn and grow. And you were a student here yourself at one time. Yes, I am a Middlesex County College alumni. Um, I did both the dance and the theater program here as well as the education program. Yeah, okay. So. Uh, w but were you in summer camp? So I never was a camper. Mm -hmm. But um, because I was an employee here is how I actually got the job of the lighting di director, right? Because Ooh. it had to be an employee of the college ah. who knows how to use the equipment. And the great thing about it is I also teach children. So til children are able to, um, if we have any kids that are in crew, let's say, they can say if they want to paint or they can say if they want to run the lights. So what I'll do is I will um, allow two kids per week up if they don't want to be in the show, and they learn how to use the spotlight, and they learn how I run the board, and they're able to partake yeah, in it. Really. So they're learning a lot of things on and off stage for the kids that you know aren't so comfortable performing. Right. Do, do any of the kids actually learn enough on crew to be able to be on their own? Um, I mean, they learn a decent amount. They're all still super young, so um, they don't, won't have many opportunities right now to do things on their own. But absolutely, I think if they get to middle school or high school and they are in a situation where they say, does someone know how to paint? Does someone know how to run a spot? Absolutely. They'll be, they'll be the first ones to raise their hand and say, oh, I did that in theater camp, Yeah, which is really awesome. I think it's a wonderful thing you're doing you and Michael and all the other people that we've met here because kids get a grounding in theater and they don't realize how important it is for their professional lives right. you know the, the one of the toughest thing you you need to do when you're in business is to be able to get up in front of people and, and get your message right. across and where do they learn that here. Learn that right. here. Right. Yeah, and it's actually great because I worked here for six years and then I took a little bit of a hiatus and I'm back because I enjoy it so much. She's back. <laughs> this is Raven Dunbar, who, as I mentioned, is a choreographer all over the state and a dancer. Oh, right. A dancer dances. Right. But you've never been in a chorus line. No, it's a shame, actually. Well, uh, well let's do it. All right. Okay, you can teach me. How you direct it, and I'll okay. choreograph. This is Raven Directing Dunbar. Career. Thank you. Dear. You're welcome. I have with me Kenny B. The B stands for Berniski. There you go. And Kenny is a counselor here, but he has he has a lot of experience with theater camp, uh, and we found it sort of interesting. We thought you might find it interesting as well. When did you start in theater camp? I started in the fifth grade. My summer going into fifth grade, so I was nine. You're going to college. You're on your yeah. way to college. Yeah, I'm going to be a freshman in college. Right, and rather than staying here in New Brunswick, where there's a lot of good colleges for actor people, you've decided to go where, Kenny B? To California School of the Arts in California. California is a big place. Where's your plane going to land? Well, I'm landing in Los Angeles, but my school is in Valencia. Okay. Yeah. Which I suppose is near Los Angeles. Yeah, it's only 25 minutes out. So you got your start in theater with theater camp. Is that fair to say? Yeah, totally. It was my first time. Tell me the kinds of things that you did here, Kenny. I, well, I know, I'm sure Mike talked about this, but I know they offer, the, offer tech and they offer all these different things. Um, I always acted in Mike's shows from the time I was in the fifth grade all the way to the ninth grade. Um, so I've played, you know, big parts and I've been the little villager every now and then. Um, I just, I'm doing music for this show, so. Yeah, so it's a good grounding in theater to be part of the theater camp. And I'm sure a lot of it is just fun. 
Yeah, it's it's one of those. It, the best way to explain it is it's a it's an experience of what you make of it, um, and it's a fun place to be if you if you're here to have fun, um, and it gives you a good ground to. I think what this camp is, it doesn't just train you to be in theater. It trains you to be a more confident person in whatever you decide. Yeah, Michael said a lot about that. So you're you're in fifth grade, or you just got out of fifth grade. Yeah. And what is it at that time encouraged you to come to a theater camp? Were you already interested in doing plays in your grammar school, or what? I went to another little theater camp in Warren, New Jersey. Um, so I, I started there, and then I wanted more of it during the summer, but that was only a two-week program. And then we found out this one was a full summer. So I came here that year, and I knew I wanted... I knew... I know it sounds like cliche, like, oh, but when I was six, I knew I wanted to be an actor of some sort. So once we found out this was a full summer thing, I came and I stayed. I never left. <laughs> and what are your responsibilities now, Kenny B? We get, counselors have to get here around nine or eight. We come in at 830 to sign campers in. Um, yeah, the regular camp day starts at nine. Yeah. So the, can, the counselors are here at 830. Right. The counselors come in at 830. We come, we get our attendance sheets ready. Joel and Rebecca, the heads of the counselors basically our head counselors they give give us updates if you know a camper left if a cancer came here's a new attendance sheet we update all of that um in the morning uh our campers either go to teen scenes or stay in tab and slog shows um and then counselors are assigned a job to do sometimes you're yeah. working with the little kids how many counselors are there katie each grade has about three counselors so Pretty there's around coverage. yeah there's more than 20 of us, I would say. More than I see. Hours. Right. So you sort of graduated from being a regular uh, camp participant into yeah. the uh, council program, yeah. and now you're graduating even further by going to Los Angeles to yes. go to school. <laughs> why, why Los Angeles? I mean, I'm sure there are a lot, of, a lot of good reasons. The weather's good. Does it rain? Actually, I went out uh, last month to visit the school and everyone says oh it never rains in California I went for three days it rained every day I was there well Kenny you have to go more often I these know, people right um, but uh, I've done a lot on the east coast um, acting wise and theater wise I've seen a lot of what's in New York and Boston and all of that and I just wanted to see what what it was like on the opposite side so yeah. I figured better now than never. Probably more of an emphasis on film and TV, camera work, rather than yeah. stage work. Um, I'm luck luckily, I'm going... Uh, Los Angeles does have a lot of schools that are very... Uh, this is how you act in film, this is how you act in TV. Luckily, I'm going to a school that you have to learn theater, film, TV. They make sure that's in your curriculum. So I'm very happy about that, and that's one of the reasons I chose that school, because they give you a lot of different options. But, yeah. Okay. We'll do it up. Good luck with all of that. Thank you so much. This is Kenny B, and the B stands for? Berniski. Watch out, California. Here comes Kenny B. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you so much. Good luck to you. Thanks. Hi, and I'm here with a bunch of camp students. Look at them all, how bright and happy they seem to be. Let's, let's meet them all. And you are? I'm Avery Lipkin. Avery, how old are you? I'm going to be 12 next Tuesday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> okay. What, what school do you go to? I go to Hammershold Middle School. Oh, okay. And this is your best friend? Or one of your school friends? Who's this? <laughs> I'm Sophia Winston, and I'm 12, and I go to Hammershold Middle okay. School. And you are? I'm Cecilia Zuniga. Cecilia, yes. Uh, I'm 12, mm -hmm. and I go to Edgar Middle School. Okay. This is, this is the 12 section. Your name is? I'm Abby Wasileski. I'm 13, and I go to Bonnie Mauger Middle School. Okay. And you are? Um, my name is Matthew Mechanic, and I am 10, and I go to Jeans Monroe Elementary School. Okay. And what's your name? My name is Sadat Mata, and I'm seven and a, turning seven this August, and I go to Ben Franklin School. Okay. Well, hi, everybody. You know, we've been talking to some of your counselors about the experience that you have here at, uh, at uh, theater camp. I'd like to know from you what it is, what it is you like about being here, um, and um, what kinds of things have you been in? Let's start with you. A a Abby? Yeah. Okay. Um, I... I uh, really like it here because you meet a lot of interesting people and everybody kind of gets their time to shine. So. Yeah. 
real good. Your name again? Cecilia. Cecilia, tell me why you like it here. I like it because I met a lot of my friends here and because I love being in the shows. Yeah. Okay. Uh, back to the 12 year old section. Happy birthday. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I just, I really love, I've met so many of my really close friends, and even if you don't all live in the same area, you always have fun being in the shows with them, and you stay in touch with everyone that you meet here. What's the difficulty about doing shows here? Is it difficult, or is it just easy and fun? You really, honestly, you really just have to try your best and just kind of let yourself be in the show and not kind of hold back, and then there's really nothing hard about it. What good advice that is. And uh, do you enjoy the experience here as well? Your name again? Sophia, Sophia, and I do because everybody talks to everyone basically since we're all outgoing, and um, I like doing the shows and being on stage. Yeah. What is it about doing the shows that you like? What's your name again? Matthew. Matthew. What, are the, what is it about doing the shows that you like? I like doing the shows because it's just like it makes you have fun, and it's also like a good time to practice memorizing stuff, but my favorite part about it is you can get a lead. I mean, it's a, it has to be a miracle. You never know it, that, when it could happen. Okay. So getting getting a lead in one of the shows is, is almost like a miracle, huh? Yes. Okay. Did you get a lead yet? This year, no. I got, I got one. I started this um, camp in 2015, I believe. No, 2014. Oh, you're a veteran. You've been around. Yeah. I got two leads in, two, in 2014 and one lead in 2015. Oh, okay. That must have been fun. Yes. Your name again is? Sudan. What do you like about the theater camp? It's like um, fun, fun to do everything here and it feels just like my, my old school and my new school. Oh, okay. So you've done some theater work at your schools? Yeah, um, my new school. Okay, that's great. Well, thank you all very much for, for sharing your experiences with us. Um, this is all going to be on Edison Television, and have a great time with the remainder of camp. It looks like a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye. Hi, uh, my name is Druthi. Uh, my daughter's actually in fourth grade, and she this is her first year, and uh, it's amazing how much effort and the passion all the kids are putting in, and it's all come from the coach I believe he brings that in I was I was proud of the whole team and amazed to see the hard work they're putting in and it was it was really nice you know the performance today is very good it's awesome and it's enjoyable and the kids seems love loving it and it's good for them actually yeah I can't believe they do such a fine job in one week it's I, I'm amazed and I'm fascinated by the whole thing we like the play. We have been here, uh, I don't know how many times, but we, we wanted to come every week, and that's what we're doing. Well, that's our program for today. Congratulations once again to Edison TV for 25 years of providing service to the Edison community. This is Joe Vierno signing off. See you next time.